Good morning, my angels. Welcome back to the YouTube channel and welcome back to a brand new vlog. Now, I am so excited because I am literally just about to get in the car and I'm heading to somewhere that I have literally dreamt about going to and quite frankly with the most incredible people. We are heading to the Wilderness Reserve with the Wedding Edition. You have all met Kendra and Isabella before and you know those incredible events that I take you to. Nine times out of 10, they are in fact a Wedding Edition event. And so we are going to the Wilderness Reserve with the Wedding Edition team and the most incredible collection of brands. So the hair is in the roll I'm literally jumping in the car in five minutes, but I have had the most incredible delivery from Gingerberry and I'm dying to wear it. Literally, I saw this and I was like, oh, I have to unbox it and I'm desperate to wear my pearls for my gorgeous trip. So I thought that I would very, very quickly unbox them with you, head up to London, get in the car with the girls, and then head to East Suffolk to the Wilderness Reserve. So first and foremost, let's unbox these gorgeous goodies. Now, if you guys have subscribed to me for a while, you will know that I am just head over heels in love with Gingerberry. They are the most elegant, timeless, and just exquisite jewelry brand that ticks every single box. It's female founded, and you know me, I absolutely adore the pearls. They are timeless, they are elegant, <gasps> and they are stunning. So literally just in time for Valentine's Day, look at their gift wrapping. <gasps> it is absolutely beautiful. So ladies and gentlemen, if you are looking to first and foremost treat yourself with a piece that is going to last you a lifetime, and quite frankly, never go out of fashion, now is the time. And if you are looking to treat somebody special in your life, again, just, I'm gonna come a little bit closer so that you can see the branding and the packaging. Just look at that. So you've got that deep navy blue, the beautiful gingerberry logo, and look at that red ribbon. I am literally obsessed. So they have been so, so kind and have sent me a little Valentine's gift. I honestly feel so overwhelmed by the incredible brands that I work with and Gingerberry. You see me wear all of my bits and pieces so often and you're always asking me, Leonora, where are your pearls from? And they are most likely from Gingerberry. They're either vintage from my grandmother or my mother or they are from Gingerberry. And that's the thing about pearls. They're, they're timeless pieces and they're meant to be passed down. And that's really where this brand is just so personal. It really comes down to when Emily, the founder, was searching for that perfect piece of jewelry for her mother, or even a piece of jewelry that she wanted to share with her mother. It was all about fast fashion. She couldn't find anything that was top quality, that was gonna last a lifetime, and that was just fundamentally timeless. And so she set out to do that herself, which I absolutely love. So oh, this packaging is just incredible. And they also always give you a little bag, which I absolutely adore. So if you are looking to treat yourself and a loved one, they also send you a little bag so that when you turn up, you can pop your gifts in here. It is absolutely stunning. So let's open this up. Oh, oh my goodness, just look at this. It literally feels like a fine jewelry or high jewelry piece. So it is in this beautiful navy blue suede box. And look at that. The craftsmanship and the design and the quality of these beautiful pearls are absolutely extraordinary. And I really wanted a set of pearls that I could actually wear, for example, even on days like today, that I can wear hanging long over a jumper 
or that I could actually wear in multiple different styles, possibly maybe actually twisting around my neck twice. So this is absolutely beautiful. Then, oh my goodness, this is just gorgeous. <gasps> I have actually, in fact, got something for my mother for Valentine's Day, which I think is so special. So that is in here somewhere. Now these are just beautiful. Look at these. So these earrings are from their brand new collection called Rainline. So you've got a stunning Aurora pearl, 18 karat golds, with natural diamonds. And you know me, I love to have a little bit of a sparkle and then with that just timeless and elegant drop of the pearl, absolutely breathtaking. Oh my goodness gracious me. Also, Aurora has got to be one of my favorite names. It is also the name of Kendra from the Wedding Edition's daughter's name. It's at the very top of my girl name list. <gasps> Cannot believe I'm telling you that. Oh, these are absolutely beautiful. <gasps> and they're even more beautiful in real life. I saw these on the website and I quite literally gasped. So again, these are from their brand new collection and these are called their Lucky Clover earrings. Again, 18 karat golds with beautiful natural diamonds in the center. And I just think the price point in terms of the quality is absolutely phenomenal. Quite frankly, I don't know how they've done it. So for example, these are set in 18 karat golds and these are natural real diamonds and they are under the 350 pound mark. So you're having a piece that's going to last you a lifetime and something that you can wear every single day for the rest of your life. I think paper wear, mind blowing, absolutely phenomenal. And you know me, I strive for British brands, invest in luxury and it will last you and that you can wear it time and time again. It is so sustainable and I personally think it's the best way to purchase. You've really got to think about it. Most of the time it does cost you a little bit more money but it's going to last you so much longer. And with Gingerberry you're lasting in something that is just timeless and elegant. <gasps> Oh my goodness gracious me, the rose gold. <gasps> Look at this. I feel like this is going to be one of your favorites. So this is called their Serenity. And the thing I love the most is that it is a two in one. It's set in 18 karat gold. You've got the gorgeous high luster, round, clean pearls. And they've almost got a little bit of a pink overtone. So they are also actually set in the most beautiful rose gold. You all know how much I love rose gold and actually that slight hint of pink. So those are absolutely breathtaking. I think that they would look amazing today. I actually think the little drops, the little rain line drops would look incredible with my jumper. I think I might even have to wear these today. Now with Valentine's coming up, there is something just so special about receiving a piece of jewelry. I know it sounds cliche, but it is absolutely divine and there is no feeling quite like it when you get a beautiful jewelry box and you open it up and you get something just stunning on the inside. And this is just that a beautiful set of pearls. Now, again, I wanted to have a necklace that sat quite, um, I was quite specific in the way that I wanted it to sit and the length of the pearls. And I just wanted to have something that was very much like Grace Kelly, Marilyn Monroe, Audrey Hepburn, all of those beautiful young ladies that are just, as timeless and as exquisite as it gets. And when I look at those images and look at back at that era, there was definitely a pearl necklace that sat just above the collarbones. And it is just so beautiful. And this is just that. So I will leave all of these in that description box down below. As I said, 
Treat yourself this Valentine's Day. Treat your loved one. There is no better feeling than opening a jewelry box and do it with gingerberry. You know that the quality and the craftsmanship is second to none and the price point is absolutely phenomenal. But I've also got something that's very gorgeous. Look at this gift wrapping. <gasps> I might even have to take these with me, you know, and then decide what I'm going to be wearing at the wilderness. <sighs> and literally, <laughs> they could not have sent something better. Well, I most certainly am going to pop all of my pearls in my beautiful new little jewelry box. <gasps> Look at that. <laughs> it is literally perfection. So I'm going to sit for a moment, pop my pearls in my beautiful jewelry box, pop it in my bag and head off to the Wilderness Reserve with the Wedding Edition. I feel like the Wedding Edition girls are going to love this. I actually wore pearls on my wedding day and um, I just wouldn't have had it any other way. I always say, way say wedding day my goodness me I should be a poet but I always say that when I want to look back at my wedding photographs in 50 years 80 years hopefully you know I probably won't be around for another hundred years I mean <laughs> fingers crossed but I doubt it um one too many glasses of champagne for me but I want to look back at my wedding photographs and for them never to go out of fashion so stay timeless and stay elegant so as I always say, I will leave all of the details in that description box down below. And Gingerberry have been so generous and they are offering you a Valentine's discount. So I will leave the discount code on the screen here. So make sure to take a look at that description link down below. Go to the website, look through the website. Honestly, look at every single page because they have some timeless classics on there as well as their breathtaking new collection of absolutely stunning pieces. So let's pop everything in my little jewelry box and let's head to the Wilderness Reserve for the most beautiful 24 hours of my life. <laughs> arrived in London. The hair is out of the rollers and looking somewhat poodlish and my pearls are on and in. They look absolutely beautiful. So the plan is we're heading to the pavilion to meet the girls and they're very very kindly organized transportation to head to the Wilderness Reserve with the wedding edition and an incredible company called Paper London. So let's go. Wonderful Dorman, the Mandarin Orange has been so kind and is walking me down to the Pavilion Club. Thank you so much, sir. What a lovely way to start the day. I'm looking very dapper. I love your coat. I want one of those myself. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you so much. A gorgeous BMW. Let's head down to the Wilderness Reserve. Oh, this looks absolutely gorgeous. 
Oh, this is Sabrina filming me, me filming her. Gosh, this looks absolutely amazing. I've just arrived in my room and oh my goodness me, I am absolutely blown away. This is so beautiful, so cozy and just gorgeous. And look at all of these goodies. I am absolutely obsessed. This is so cool. And look at how gorgeous this is. So as I said, we are here with a company called Paper London, and obviously in collaboration with the wedding edition. And they have got the most gorgeous things. Oh my goodness, this gives you an idea as to what we will be doing today. Yes, I will be putting this on. And yes, it is the beginning of February. And yes, I will be getting into that very choppy and chilly looking lake that we drove past. I most certainly am going to need the beanie. <gasps> what are these? Oh my gosh, they look absolutely, oh my goodness. I'm not even finishing my sentences. <gasps> Life's a journey, oh my gosh. You guys know how much I love a little notebook. And then a beautiful neon bag full of the most gorgeous goodies. Okay, well this is just turning into a full on unboxing. So what is in here? We have a perfect night's sleep pillow mist. Yes, I had four hours sleep last night, so I will be hitting the hay early and most certainly using that. And then this is the perfect night's sleep wellbeing soak. <gasps> You guys know how much I love a bath oil, and this is a multivitamin bath oil. Oh my giddy aunt, this is unbelievable. The girls just know how to host, and there is nothing quite like a wedding edition event. And this is a stay, I am so excited. But they are also dressing me for dinner tonight, and apparently we are dining al fresco style. And this is my dress. Have you ever seen something so beautiful? Oh my goodness me. So the founder of the company is a lady called Philippa Thackeray. And she is actually with us this evening. So I will try to introduce you to her, but how beautiful is this design? It's absolutely gorgeous. So I cannot wait to style it up. I'm gonna sort of style it country vibes. And hopefully I've brought a few things that will go. But look at the decor, the gorgeous little wicker laundry basket is beautiful. Beautiful little windows and overlooking literally the forest. We are quite literally in the wilderness reserve and it's just gorgeous. I cannot wait for today and tonight and tomorrow and literally have got the most dream girls to spend the next 24 hours in. I'm going to pop my pink dressing gown on and look at this bathroom. This is so beautiful. Hello. So I'm in a cream cashmere. I've got my pearls in. These are the pearls that I chose to wear. These are the beautiful little raindrop pearls and the gorgeous string of pearls here. And although we're in the country, you can wear pearls anytime, any day, for any occasion. But how beautiful is this? All of the gorgeous Bamford shampoo, conditioner, body wash. And look at those tiles. I am obsessed, absolutely obsessed. Well, I can hear lots of laughing and lots of giggling, so I'm gonna head out and join the girls. showing each other our room. Sabrina's changed, show me your jumper. She's repping, repping already, love it. <gasps> this is so gorgeous. The stars, we can look at the stars together this evening, how romantic. <gasps> oh my God, okay, goals. Goals, this is, oh my goodness. This is beautiful, no coming here, we're doing room tour. <gasps> The dress. Yeah, but no, wait, look at, look at this. Oh, you got a bath. I know. 
very Oh my god, that's gorgeous. So I love a copper bath. Look at that. Just divine. I just got told that Fran has the after party bath. Are we all getting in here later after yeah, the swim? <gasps> oh my goodness me. That is mad. That is epic. I can just see that full of bubble bath. Now we've set the decks up here. Yeah, okay, DJ there. We're all gonna be in the bubble bath. This is so oh cute. We could make this into a serious campaign. We can also all be in the swimsuits at the same time. It's a vibe, girls. <laughs> it's a vibe. You have oh, okay, so we've all come to the rooms to get ready. I've got a little bit of a Dutch courage. It looks so cold, but I'm actually really excited. I've not done that much um, cold water swimming before. I say that, but obviously I'm used to going in the sea and the ocean and Portugal with absolutely perishingly cold. So I definitely don't think it will be as cold as that. And quite frankly, I'm quite... I'm quite gutsy, so I think I'm going to be fine. So I'm going to have another good old sip of the gorgeous Gus Bourne sparkling wine. And my bikini is laid out for me on the bed. So I'm going to pop my bikini on. I'm gonna pop this gorgeous Paper London Beach Club jumper, definitely the beanie. And then quite frankly, I think I'm just gonna actually pop on some wellies. It's gonna be a serious vibe from pearls to bikinis. Oh my giddy aunt, this is going to be hilarious. <laughs> and quite frankly, the most beautiful bikini, high-waisted bottoms, and a gorgeous black bandeau with little frills at the top. Absolutely stunning. Oh gosh, it's gonna be chilly out there. Oh gosh. Wish me luck. I'm gonna take you down there. Hopefully I can obviously like prop you guys up on the side so that you can have a good old giggle at our expense. But it's the beginning of February. It's a chilly day. At least it's not raining. The lake is so choppy. There's 50 mile an hour winds. It's going to be absolute havoc, but I cannot wait. This one came to the country already. Look at her, she's got her Chanel pumps on, ready for the country fields. So we're going from Chanel pumps to wellies. Fabulous. Look at you, looking gorgeous. <laughs> Girls, are we ready for this? We're ready for this. I mean, I've never seen a more beautiful group of girls ready to get practically naked and go wild swimming. I love it. It's gonna be incredible. Also, how cool do you look right now? I feel like you're pulling this look off exceptionally well. We have made it down to the lake. It's looking less choppy than what it was before. We've got a gorgeous, amazing fire, beautiful logs, and look at the Land Rover of absolute dreams. The girls are looking like supermodels. Are you ready for this? I love it. And look at the Land Rover. So we've got whiskey. <laughs> I love this hot chocolate. Marshmallows, just about everything. Mugs, blankets, bit of Dutch courage. Oh, this is going to be incredible. So the hot chocolate is just warming. Oh, on the most incredible fire. What a setup. This is incredible. It is about six degrees today. Okay, so that's going to give you a bit of a shock. When we're going in the water, we're going in the water slowly. We're walking in, we're not running and jumping, getting our heads So we all breathe all the time. We're all quite good at breathing. Okay? When we're going into, the, before we go 
going into the water and when we're going in, we need to be consciously breathing. It's not just our normal breath. We need to be breathing with our whole body. So you can breathe with your stomach, you can breathe with your chest, you need to breathe with both of them. Okay, so what I want you to do is to do 20 deep breaths, starting from the stomach up to your chest, in your own pace. When you get to 20, I then want you to hold your breath for about a minute. A then minute? About a minute. Bloody and hell! Slowly <laughs> that release casual? that breath, do 20 more, yeah. hold, slowly release. Oh, gosh. You might start to feel a little bit lightheaded during this. Okay, so be prepared to grab onto a friend or something like that so you don't fall over because we don't want anyone passing out or anything like that. Okay, lightheadedness is a good thing. Basically, what you're doing is you're changing your body's chemistry from being acidic to being an alkali. Okay, and that messes with your head a little bit, makes you a little bit lightheaded. It fills your body with oxygen as well, which helps keep you alive. Keeping alive is very, very good. When you're going in the water, you want to continue to do that breathing. Okay, focus on your breathing. By all means, talk, scream, sing, swear, be as loud as you want as you're doing it. Okay, this that is a good sign for me that you're okay. If someone were to start to suffer with cold water shock, the first thing to go is your speech. Your speech becomes slurred. Okay, and you also start to forget things. So if I turn to you and say, excuse me, can you tell me your name? And you can't remember your name. <laughs> We need to get you out of the water, get you warmed up, okay? The warming up process needs to be done relatively slowly. Today, with this wind, that's going to be our main factor when we come out of the water. That wind is going to call us really quick. Get behind the car. So you're going to want to get a towel on you, <laughs> get a robe on you, get near the fire, okay? And get warmed nice and slowly. And one of the best things to do when you first get out How is get are feet dry in your boots. <laughs> Your feet being dry help warm you up a lot quicker. Those of you that have got hats on, feel free to keep them on because obviously we lose a lot of heat. We're not going to be in the water for very long. You can be in the water for as little as you want. Can we if wee you, in the water? You can wee in the water, that'll keep you warm. <laughs> can you? Okay. I'm definitely not standing next to you. <laughs> Charming! I think it weighs like minutes, it's so warm. Probably. Survival mode, Tabs is having a tinkle. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> when we're in there, the problem of the lake is a clay based soil. There's about a six to eight inch layer of quite loose, soft clay, and then it's solid under that. That loose, soft clay layer will actually keep your feet really nice and warm. It's about finding grit and resilience in day to day actions without the mental complexity of day to day life, and then translating that over to things that we find like a lot harder and more complex, but it's that self belief that you've shown yourself that you can do it, so it means that you have that self agency over yourself to do the other things. Obsessed. Yeah. You're incredible. So what would be your top <laughs> tips for us? Top tips are, okay, so the, the, the only thing that I'd be aware of is that, as he said, don't stay into the border of what you think you can handle. There can be a phenomena called after drop, which is where you've cooled the peripheral of your body too much. When you get in that water, the peripheral of your skin will match the temperature of the water within one minute. Wow. Okay? And body cools in three stages. It goes skin surface, peripheral, and deep body cooling. Deep body cooling is the one that like has the most risk for hypothermia, which you're not going to get to. You'd have to stay in that water like a lot longer. But what you do need to be aware of is that if you go in the water, don't stay to your limit because when you get out you can have this potential thing called the after drop which is a very temporarily dip in body temperature as heat is lost as it starts to cool your surface level skin. Does this make any sense? Yeah, of course. So yeah. stay in to where you're like, okay, this will be done, don't push yourself. Like, I'll be the last in. <laughs> so, you know, I'm going for a very quick tip. If I stay in there as long as a tinkle, yeah, it will be amazing. Let's do this. See you, Kendra. Say hi.
decorated. Absolutely incredible. Look at these girls. What did we think, ladies? Freezing. <laughs> Love it. We're being told to move around so we can stay warm. So we're doing a scavenger hunt around the estate and one of the tasks is we've got to get as many people as we can in a car. In the car! So right got... girls, get in the car! We've got the girls in the car! We don't know this chap, no, but we've just got in the car! And, right, is everybody getting in? Right. Well, I've had a very, very quick shower, a freshen up with the makeup, a brush through the hair because I was looking somewhat windswept, and I've now got my gorgeous Noble Macmillan Life's A Journey notepad. And we are going to be having a manifesting workshop with Sabrina. She's absolutely incredible, and I cannot wait. So, let's go. <laughs> I mean, everybody's in their cozies. Tabs has come to town. To be fair, I am very quick at getting ready. And then I mean, this is epic. I love it. I've actually written like a very specific guided meditation for today that I'm, I'm really psyched about. So can't wait for that. I love it. Um, and that we're going to do that. And then afterwards, it's about. So I really love the ethos of paper being like it's all about the journey and this is kind of like a nice 24 hour period to, you know, new, new book, new chapter, create what you will and then be reintroduced to the hustle and bustle of day to day life tomorrow. But while we're here is kind of sort of like a safe space for us to. The idea of the guided meditation is to bring you as close as possible to what someone might conceptualize as your authentic self. And then from there, it's about connecting with that to get really clear on what your ideal self is, like who your higher self is, who is that person, who are they to you. And then from there, it's about creating the next year, living into that type of person. Mm. That's where we're gonna go, if everyone's okay with that. Yeah, okay. Closing their eyes. And you're just going to do a quick body scan. And that's to close the mind to the outside world and the chatter and to bring the mind to the internal world. And so just imagining that there is a button on the top of your head. From that point, I want you to slowly imagine that there's a horizontal line of light and just guiding that down through the body like a sort of photocopy of light, going past each part of your eyebrows, seeing if there's any muscle touch in there, relaxing it, moving down towards your eye sockets, your jaw. Again, if there's any tension there, relaxing it. Moving down to the neck muscles, the shoulders, there's any tension there, not making it wrong, but just allowing it to release. And moving down past the heart area, down into the core, down through into the sit bones, again, just allowing all the little muscles to relax. Going down through the legs to the knees, down from the knees to the ankles and then all the way to the tip of the toes. And so just coming to the intention for today's meditation. The intention is to bring yourself back to the home that is the self. And so I want you to connect and honour the life force that is the essence of you. 
And so with everything I say, there's no need to repeat it out loud, but I want you to take everything that I'm saying and embody it and allow it to sort of sink in. And each time I say something, if you need it to sink in deeper, just taking a really deep breath and allowing that information to go in. So this session is about being with the miracle that is the spirit within your body. So how did everyone find that? Very emotional. Very emotional. I know, I felt like I was going to cry. <laughs> I did as well. Yeah. I really went back to like, a ch like my child self and I hugged her. It's really weird. Like the 16 year old person, I yeah. like, could feel I was hugging. When you said hold her. Yeah. I found like, not the opposite, but in a different way. Other guided things that I've done in the past, I felt like I've always tapped into trauma and into very emotional things that I would just really rather not think about. But when you were just speaking then, I genuinely, I found myself smiling and found myself thinking how grateful and how happy that I was and how Aww. I was holding that space. Mm. And it's the first That's time so that I've actually felt like that when I've felt, when I've made myself feel vulnerable instead of feeling like scared and, and, and I immediately emotionally shut myself off when mm. I'm in those scenarios, whereas just then I felt really at ease. Maybe it's all you lovely girls. I've balanced you actually on a lampshade, so extremely precarious, but I just wanted to show you the absolutely beautiful paper London dress absolutely stunning the fit the quality the design it's got pockets honestly i wish you could feel just the quality also a beautiful stretch that it has i've actually got it mm, rather sexy i've unbuttoned it slightly so that you could see my pearls i've got my gorgeous gingerberry earrings and um, with these slightly longer necklace and I just think with the V neck, with the button down shirt, with the oversized collar, look at these arms. It's also got the tie front, you can even tie it at the back. It is the most beautiful length. I am obsessed with this. Now we are actually, in fact, going for dinner in the forest this evening. So I did actually bring heels to wear with this dress, but I don't think Manolo's in mud go together no so i do actually have my holland cooper suede chocolate boots so i think the chocolate suede boots are going to look gorgeous very classy very timeless crisp white shirt dress quite sexy i've got a little bit of little bit of white lace on show but i love it with the pearls just poking through i mean you let me know I could do up another button and have the pearls just poking out or I could have it just slightly open and I mean that in a ladylike way and voila I mean just the way it nips me in at the waist oh my gosh this brand the entire collection and most importantly the ethos is just incredible and I must say my gosh Got that meditation got really, really deep and really personal. And we actually wrote down in our notepads what we want to let go of and what we want to burn. And tonight we're actually gonna rip that page out and we are going to burn it on the fire tonight, which there's something about just like getting it out, writing it on a piece of paper, tearing it out and burning it and that it is just gonna go. And um, I mean, what a trip. What a, what a trip. Gosh, I didn't realize how deep this was going to get. Um, oh, I can hear the girls and we are off to dinner. I, I'm, I'm actually lost for words, really. Anyway, all I can say is that I feel incredible. This dress is just everything. <sighs> I don't know, I feel quite shaky. Sabrina is absolutely amazing. I don't think I've ever been in a situation where I haven't really known what to say before. Wow. Yeah. Let's go to that fire pit and let's just burn. Let's burn this page. 
go this way, we've got a bit of angle. Okay. No, no, okay. maybe far more fireplace. <laughs> Stop okay. it, stop it, like yeah, that. Much better. Yes, I like <laughs> the angles. Okay, yes, that's okay. it. She's got a little so halo as well. After about an hour, we found good lighting, and I just wanted to be able to show you the full outfit of the day before I take the heels off, because quite frankly, it would be sacrilege having monolos in the mud. But this is Paper London's Suki dress. If ever there was a dress to be made for me, I think this was it. The quality of the fabric, the little pussy bow ties, it's wasted. It's a shirt dress, so you've got like business, boss woman, but it's pretty and it's girly. The skirt of absolute dreams, and it has a There Everybody was a little bit of flash there. Oh, flash, oh sorry. Lucky you, you're welcome. Anyway, we've got the pearls on, we're keeping Marilyn Monroe, Audrey Hepburn vibes. This one, I'm mean, what should be doing with the armpits? I'm trying to sound, there's so much sound. Oh, okay, she's helping with the sound. Can you show this, no. lady? <laughs> this is what she's been doing. <laughs> anyway, it's all going down. We probably drank far too much gusto at this point, but we're about to hit the day. We're all in white. I'm so Let's go for So here we go. We've got another young, beautiful lady. Outfit of the day. So what are you wearing, Fran? So I'm wearing Baby London's Chi-Chi dress. chi, -chi. I've also got some accessories from Priya's bridal styling. Oh my these God. lovely rental pieces. The earrings are just... Oh, those <laughs> are absolutely astonishing. Oh my God, the bow. It means it looks lovely stamped. Oh my goodness, it's stunning. The shoes, please tell me about the shoes. The shoes are shoes. The shoes to choose, of course. Well, Fran is actually getting married this year, so if ever there was a bride to follow this year, this is the one. <laughs> oh my god, absolutely beautiful, darling. Anyway, you ready for dinner? Very ready for dinner. Let's must, go. Must the defenders are here. Right, girlies, do you need help? We love the vibe. I love this. Look at the torch. Oh, this is so much fun. Girls, are you ready for this? This is epic! <laughs> so we have just arrived at the most incredible location for dinner. I am absolutely blown away. This is unbelievable. So we will be having dinner tonight in the teepee. Look at the fire pits. This is so atmospheric and beautiful. I cannot even begin to cope. <gasps> Look at the land rovers. Oh my gosh. This is insane. Oh my goodness gracious me. This is so beautiful. <gasps> Thank you. Me. It is tipping it down. Oh, I'm slightly nervous that the sparks are going to get my dress. Go, go, go! Oh my goodness gracious me. This looks absolutely breathtaking. Oh my goodness. This is so beautiful. I actually cannot cope. This is absolutely stunning. And more with your emotional ah. commitment to the release of the thing. Does this make any sense? Yeah. Yeah. It makes sense. Okay, and so you, you can reread it. If some people you really don't want to reread it, that's also okay. But it's more that it's enough emotional symbolism that 
the next time that this thing that's on the piece of paper bugs you, you remember back to this moment that you made a physical commitment to let it go. Yeah? yeah. Sounds good? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Is everyone ready to let it go? Kendra has yeah. got the vibe. Right, let's do this. Okay, let's see this. Oh my god, it's absolutely chucking it down. <gasps> One, two, three, go! Oh no, my, mine didn't go in the burn! Mine's not burning! Hang on a minute, I need to get mine! <laughs> oh, ah, ah. Get in there, it's burning! It burnt my dress or my hair! Oh my goodness gracious me! Good morning, my angels. Well, it is the most beautiful day here at the Wilderness Reserve. Bright blue skies, sunshine, the birds chirping. I've got my gorgeous paper London cardigan on. I actually don't have a full length mirror in my room. So the reflection of the greenhouse is really rather good. I've got my Halara leggings underneath, pair of wellies, really <laughs> looking rather farm-like but with this absolutely delicious cardigan on love the pink stripe so cozy and so warm so i'm going to go for a little bit of a stroll and then i'm going to be heading to breakfast packed up. I'm so sad to be leaving. It has been the most incredible afternoon, evening and morning a girl could ever dream of. Just the most incredible collection of just inspiring, empowered, phenomenal ladies. And to be here with Paper London, the clothes, oh my cardigan. I'm head over heels in love with this and will not be taking off. And I'm, in fact, I'm actually traveling home in it. Oh, you're going to be seeing this a lot on my YouTube channel. Anyway, as I said, I'm all packed up and um, I'm going to meet the girls and then we are going to be heading home. sweet home. The PJs are on and I am having a very cozy evening. We were so lucky with the weather. It is absolutely bucketing down cats and dogs, but what a trip. I'm almost like taking a bit of time to like process it. The last 24 hours were literally a dream and what magical memories we made first and foremost the wedding edition Kendra and Isabella not only have they become such dear friends of mine they are so inspirational entrepreneurial and just the way that they host and create these magical magical events and staycations is absolutely incredible and what I think they are just fundamentally extremely talented at is actually pairing up people with the invite to their events. Obviously they do so many and they can't always have the same people to the same events and um, it doesn't really work that way but they seem to cherry pick individuals that they truly believe are going to get on and I cannot even begin to tell you. I actually think that some of my best relationships in my friendship groups, as in literally the best relationships I've made, have come from actually attending the wedding edition events, which is so, so special. Obviously, I'm going on a work capacity, but just the friendships that have been made from attending those events 
are absolutely incredible and I think that is a testament to Kendra and Isabella and what a 24 hours. First and foremost, the Wilderness Reserve. I could not recommend it enough. It's rustic, it's natural, yet you've still got this incredible element of such a luxurious service. The greenhouse that we stayed in, I say it was a greenhouse, it was an enormous, quite frankly, outrageously luxurious greenhouse. It was amazing, my room was so lovely, the mattress was divine, gorgeous quality thread count. I know I sound rather snobby, but there is something lovely about having just divine um, linen and of course paper London. I'm absolutely blown away. I'm blown away by everything. The goodies, the outfits, my beautiful dress that they dressed me in last night, the bobble hats, my swimsuit. I mean, outrageous. I just, the fit, the style, the way it held me in, the cups, the little frill details, it's high-waisted, just scrumptious. I think the combination between the styles and the creme de la creme quality is really what makes Paper London special and I cannot wait for their incredible spring launch. So I will of course leave all the details in that description box down below. Go and take a look at the website, look at the collection because it is absolutely amazing and it's quite different which I love you know me I don't want to be the same as everybody else and there's just slight little design tweaks that just make all the difference and I think that is what makes Paper London special gosh I don't really know how to break it down other than it being the most magical whirlwind 24 hours I think one of my favorite parts of the entire staycation has definitely got to be the guided meditation I've never before really understood it in a way or in it's hard to put into words but really been in a place in my mind where I can come to a standstill and fully focus on one thing. And then when I close my eyes and I, I'm trying to listen to somebody and trying to listen to a, a guided meditation, my mind just goes here, there and everywhere. What have I forgotten to do? What's on my to-do list? Or what about this? Or, you know, what about that event? Have we organized that outfit? And just, my brain is just going 100 miles an hour and I think you guys all know by now I, I really really struggle to switch off. I don't know whether it was the guided meditation itself or Sabrina's voice. She literally had me like that. It was absolutely incredible. And so that definitely was one of my favorite parts of the whole trip and actually I felt really really moved by it and I, I kind of went back to a point in my life that I sometimes try not to go back to um, because I don't like being, I don't know, I don't like to go back to like a negative point in my life. I always say I'm so lucky, I'm so grateful and I'm such a positive, a positive person. Anyway, I went back to that and in some ways what Sabrina was saying is that you have to go back to that point and heal that point so that you can move forward. And one of the exercises that Sabrina um, made us do was write down on our beautiful notepads all of the things that no longer serve us and the things that we don't want to take into 2024 and all of those negative maybe elements or habits or things that we do that we no longer want to. We made a list. We tore it out we crumpled it up and quite possibly one of the most therapeutic things, we burnt it. So when we went to dinner, which was absolutely unbelievable and the most scrumptious food I've ever tasted, there was also the most beautiful open fire pit. It was so atmospheric and it was just so moving. All of us just got so involved and just really opened up. I mean, just in some ways I don't think I've ever really opened up that much first of all in a work capacity and second of all just like personal things and it was amazing absolutely amazing I just didn't want it to end and again have just developed such a wonderful relationship with so many incredible women it was absolutely amazing so I just feel 
I can't believe this is my life in a way. Like I feel so lucky and so grateful that I get to go on trips like that and get to spend time with those people. Just, it just, it's flabbergasting really. Bewilders me. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, I've got my PJs on. I'm going to be having a very, very quiet evening. I've got really a lot of work to do. So I'm just going to get my head down, get some work done, sit on the sofa with the sausages, of course, and in some ways just process. What an incredible 24 hours, well, by this point, 36 hours it has been with the most magical women. The Wedding Edition, Paper London, The Wilderness, Gus Bourne Sparkling Wines, Noble Macmillan, obviously Sabrina Percy, who is the co-host of the event. Absolutely incredible. So I am actually going to bring this vlog to an end. It has been such a special one. We've literally gone from London to Suffolk at the Wilderness with the Wedding Edition and Paper London. We've been sipping on delicious Gus Bourne sparkling wine, dressed by the most incredible brand with the most special ladies. And I've loved every single second of it. And I hope you guys have too. So I will see you on the next one and most importantly, sending you all so much love and thank you for watching.